Chapter 21 Now the men of Israel had sworn in Mizpah, saying, There shall not any of us give his daughter to Benjamin as a wife. The people came to Bethel and sat there until evening before God, and lifted up their voices and wept. They said, O Lord, the God of Israel, why has this happened in Israel, that there should be today one tribe lacking in Israel? It happened on the next day that the people rose early, and built there an altar, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. The children of Israel said, Who is there among all the tribes of Israel who didn't come up in the assembly of the Lord? For they had made a great oath concerning him who didn't come up to the Lord to Mizpah, saying, He shall surely be put to death. The children of Israel grieved for Benjamin their brother, and said, There is one tribe cut off from Israel this day. What shall we do for wives for those who remain, seeing we have sworn by the Lord that we will not give them of our daughters for wives? They said, What one is there of the tribes of Israel who didn't come up to the Lord to Mizpah? Behold, there came none to the camp from Jabesh-Gilead to the assembly. For when the people were numbered, behold, there were none of the inhabitants of Jabesh-Gilead there. The congregation sent there twelve thousand men of the most valiant and commanded them, saying, Go and strike the inhabitants of Jabesh-Gilead with the edge of the sword, with the women and the little ones. This is the thing you shall do. You shall utterly destroy every male and every woman who has lain with a man. They found among the inhabitants of Jabesh-Gilead four hundred young virgins, who had not known man by lying with him, and they brought them to the camp to Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan. The whole congregation sinned and spoke to the children of Benjamin who were in the rock of Rimmon, and proclaimed peace to them. Benjamin returned at that time, and they gave them the women whom they had saved alive of the women of Jabesh-Gilead, yet so they weren't enough for them. The people grieved for Benjamin, because that the Lord had made a breach in the tribes of Israel. Then the elders of the congregation said, What will we do for wives for those who remain, seeing the women are destroyed out of Benjamin? They said, There must be an inheritance for those who are escaped of Benjamin, that a tribe not be blotted out from Israel. However, we may not give them wives of our daughters, for the children of Israel had sworn, saying, Cursed be he who gives a wife to Benjamin. They said, Behold, there is a feast of the Lord from year to year in Shiloh, which is on the north of Bethel, on the east side of the highway that goes up from Bethel to Shechem, and on the south of Labona. They commanded the children of Benjamin, saying, Go and lie in wait in the vineyards, and see, and look if the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in the dances. Then you come out of the vineyards, and catch you every man his wife of the daughters of Shiloh, and go to the land of Benjamin. It shall be when their fathers or their brothers come to complain to us, that we will say to them, Grant them graciously to us, because we didn't take for each man his wife in battle. Neither did you give them to them, else you would now be guilty. The children of Benjamin did so, and took them wives according to their number of those who danced, whom they carried off, and they went and returned to their inheritance, and built the cities and lived in them. The children of Israel departed there at that time, every man to his tribe and to his family, and they went out from there every man to his inheritance. In those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes.